Welcome back, everybody. Look, I know it was a frustrating weekend of difficult homework problems, and I'm sure that some of you are feeling discouraged. I hear that. That happens from time to time. In this field, as you're learning this stuff, uh, you can get frustrated. Things can take longer than you want. Some things don't just make sense right away, and sometimes it's been a long time fixing lots and lots of small mistakes. Um, and on one hand, what I will say is that it does get better because you get more used to it and you have more confidence that you can do the thing that you're trying to do, that you will get it, that you will figure out the problem. And getting help is a great way to do that. You know, don't be shy about coming forward, asking questions on the forum, asking for help on the help side. That's why we built these things, is to help you. And it's certainly not something that we always expect you to do all on your own. We don't want you to feel alone. We want you to feel supported. And when you need to ask for help, we're there for you. So anyway, I hope that you're okay. Hope that you survived. Um, I certainly hope that this didn't you know, diminish, uh, at least not permanently, the enthusiasm, the excitement you have about computer science because today we start a really exciting chapter in our journey together this semester. Uh, we're gonna start talking about objects. So I know you have a midterm tomorrow. Today's lesson is uh, purposely light. So is tomorrow's. Uh, it's really kind of one lesson broken into two parts. Uh, to give you a little bit more time to uh, rest up, to prepare for the midterm. There is no homework problem today. There's no homework problem tomorrow. There is a practice midterm that's been released that has questions that are very similar to tomorrow's midterm. At the end of the day, the assessments in this class, whether they're midterms or quizzes or homework problems, exist to get you to do one thing, practice. Because that's the only thing that is going to allow you to learn this stuff. It's the only way it works. You just have to put in the hours. So, you know, that's why we're releasing this practice exam. I hope that it helps you. That's why we give you the homework problems, even on the weekends, because you put in the time and you're gonna get better at this. Trust me, that's the only way to do it. And that's the only thing that works. There are no shortcuts. So today's lesson, again, objects are a, an exciting new conceptual leap for us. They're really gonna expand our ability to work with data. They're hard in a different way. They're not hard in the same way that we've been challenging you so far, uh, sort of algorithmically hard, working with data, thinking about how to solve a problem. Objects represent more of a conceptual leap in terms of how understanding how we model things in our computer programs and how sort of state and data and algorithms are represented internally um, in the programs that we write. So we're gonna start that today. We're gonna to give you a little bit of a taste of it. We'll continue tomorrow, really all week and for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about objects, how to create them, how to use them, how to design them, how to think about how they work. Um, and by the time we're done, you will feel very comfortable with this. So welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend, uh, minus the homework problems. Uh, Pat's lost today, so I'm a little bummed. Um, other than that, weather's beautiful outside. Today's going to be a beautiful day. Welcome back.